I'm the victim here, you know. I'm the person without the money. I'm the person without the... I, 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 I live with the evidence that this vehicle is mine because the government of Belize allowed it to be brought in here. In his second press conference in as many weeks, Yoni Rosado played the victim role. He said he's clearing his name. So I'm here this morning to clear my name, that I have nothing to do with stolen vehicles or with a ring of stolen vehicles like our um, Super Cup, Chester William have, have been put it out there on, on the media and, and I do depend on a clean name to do a clean business in tourism. And for me to be in business, I need to have my name clear out of this mess. He's mad because he feels this interview by the Commissioner of Police paints him as somehow complicit in the importation of a stolen Volkswagen Atlas, which police confiscated from him weeks ago. I have nothing to do with purchasing vehicles from America, from Mr. Roberto Villanueva, nor from uh, Mr. Leal. I don't know Mr. Leal, and after this, I wish I'd never see him again, you know, because he's a minister that got me in this mess. If he never signed the entering of this vehicle, probably this vehicle would have been taken away at the border. You can have your vehicle with this legitimate paper that says certificate of registration, owner of Yone Rosado, and the police can come and take it, take it away from you and be on the media and television stating that it's gonna be confiscated for the state. How would you, as the commissioner of police, be disrespecting a uh, certificate that is is a government approved. As we've shown you, that stolen vehicle was processed through customs with the expressed interest of PUP's Belize Rural North Area Rep Marcone Leal, who said he was only helping out a friend, importer Roberto Skinny Villanueva. This is the Minister Leal. This is the minister of the United, of the PUP, People's United Party, that have me in a lot of trouble. This is, this is a nightmare for me. I wish for Chester William to apologize to me. I wish for the traffic department to apologize to, to us, me and my family. I wish for the custom department to do a better job. I wish for everything to retract back as they always want. But I'm pretty sure that none of this will happen. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I have done to the PUP. But this is purely vindictive, vindictive by the politicians. I have a paper here that says stop order to my business. And if you detect a strong note of political entitlement, it's because basically Rosado feels he paid for it. And I was part of my finance of my business to help put this government, the PUP, in power. I have proof of what I'm saying. You know, I put my finance where my mouth is, and for they to do this type of dirty business, having stolen vehicles coming in, selling to one of their own half PUP supporters, and then take it away and telling me that it sees. You know, I have been witness for the past five years hanging around with this ungrateful, no good PUP. And Yanni has helped them countlessly, tirelessly. They have always come for finance, transportation assistance, vehicle. How much did you spend to assist the PUP in the last election? Jules, first of all, yeah. your question is very compromising, but I'm not afraid. And I'm very clear, I give them a bag of $50,000 cash. And whose vehicles, whose buses was burned down at the port of Belize? Each one of my bus value at $40,000. Thank God I wasn't arrested. I did help the PUP financially. I did help them with transportation. I did help burning my buses. I did help with Giovanni Bracket burning tires. I did my job as a citizen to, as oppositions, to make sure the other government was in power to do the right thing. And now he says he will have to make a political pivot. Because if you're upset with 
Leal, if you're upset with Karim Musa, if, if you're upset with Chester, the only way you can get rid of them is by joining the opposition. I'm not here voting for UDP, you know. I'm going to support the UDP to make sure they do a better job.